Hello and welcome to an exploration of the very fabric of existence. Have you ever wondered what the fundamental building blocks of reality truly are? Today we embark on a journey through one of philosophy's most intriguing theories presented by the brilliant mind of Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz. So find a comfortable spot, take a deep breath, and let's delve into the intricate world of monads, the elements of reality, according to Leibniz's monadology. Imagine a tapestry of existence, each thread intricately woven to contribute to the grand design of the universe. These threads in Leibniz's vision are the monads, indivisible, imperishable, and dynamic units of being. These are not physical atoms, but metaphysical points of force, each reflecting the universe in its own unique way. As we contemplate this landscape, it's as if we're peering into a kaleidoscope, with each monad a mirror reflecting an infinity within itself. Now what if I asked you, what is the nature of the building blocks of our reality? This question invites us to consider the possibility that the universe is not just a mechanical system of matter in motion, but rather a harmonious collection of life forces. Each monad, according to Leibniz, is a simple substance that contains within it the capacity for perception and appetite, the desire to move from one state to another. As we dive deeper into these core aspects, think of the monads as the ultimate units of substance, each one completely unique, with no two monads being exactly alike. They are windowless, meaning that they do not interact with each other in the traditional sense, but rather each reflects the entire universe in a pre-established harmony. This idea, fascinating and complex, suggests that every individual monad is programmed in advance to be in sync with all others, like clocks that were set at the beginning of time to strike in unison. This harmony is orchestrated by none other than a divine watchmaker, or as Leibniz would say, God. Leibniz tells us, the monads have no windows through which anything could come in or go out. His contemporary philosophers might have debated this notion, claiming that interaction and physical causation are key to understanding the universe. Yet Leibniz stands firm, presenting a universe that is whole, complete, and perfect in its conceptualization. His voice joins those of philosophers across history who have sought to explain the connection between the many and the one, the diverse phenomena of our experiences, and the singular unity of existence. In examining the parallels in history, let's consider the Renaissance, a time when the pre-modern holistic view of the world began to give way to the mechanistic perspective of the Enlightenment. Leibniz's monads can be seen as a bridge between these worlds, encapsulating the infinite within the finite and the divine within the natural order. One can look at the case study of Baroque art, with its emphasis on grandeur and intricacy, as a cultural reflection of the complex interplay of monads, each piece contributing to a grander spectacle, much like the individual notes in a symphony. As we contemplate the ethical implications of Leibniz's monads, we are led to ask, what does it mean for human free will and moral responsibility if everything is pre-established in perfect harmony? The monadology suggests a deterministic universe, yet one that also includes the notion of theodicy, the justification of God in the presence of evil. Leibniz argues that despite appearances, our world is the best of all possible worlds, and that evil and suffering play a part in the grand cosmic calculation. Culture, too, reflects this philosophical concept. Take, for example, the works of literature and film that explore themes of determinism and free will, the microcosms within larger realities, and the interconnectedness of all things. Each story, in its way, becomes a monad, reflecting and refracting the human experience through the lens of narrative. In contemporary discussions, the idea of monads can spark debates on topics as diverse as consciousness, ecology, and quantum physics. Some might argue that the notion of separate, non-interacting entities is outdated in the face of our interconnected world, while others find parallels between monads and the entangled states of particles in quantum mechanics. 
The significance of Leibniz's monadology in today's context lies in its ability to inspire us to think about the unity and diversity of existence, about predestination and freedom, about the small and the large. As we face new ethical challenges and scientific discoveries, the idea of the monad prompts us to consider the possibility that every part of the universe, no matter how small, is a reflection of the whole. Bringing all these ideas together, we see that the monadology offers a rich, albeit abstract, tapestry of existence that challenges us to ponder deeply on the nature of reality. It's a grand philosophical vision that is as much about the structure of the universe as it is about the potential within each individual essence. Thank you for joining me on this philosophical adventure into Leibniz's monadology. Your presence and curiosity make this exploration all the more meaningful. As we part ways, I leave you with a few questions to ponder. If the universe is indeed composed of monads, how does this change your perspective on your own life and choices? How does it affect your view of nature and existence? And with that, I encourage you to carry this spirit of inquiry into your daily lives. May your own explorations be as rich and as boundless as the universe Leibniz envisioned. Until next time, keep pondering and remember that every moment is a chance to reflect upon the infinite within and around us. Goodbye and take care.